Hey, welcome back to Creek Spark Chaser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly use your steel two-in-one chainsaw sharpener. It's really easy. It doesn't cost very much. It'll save you from going to the store to get your chain sharpened or possibly going to buy new chains. So let's get right into it. All right, first step you want to do, I have an MS311. It doesn't matter what chainsaw you have, but you got to make sure you have it level to the ground surface. So let's go ahead and prop it up. Put it in your bench vise like this, tighten it down just enough to where it holds the blade tight, but don't pinch it down. Now I like to keep things simple and I'm going to do a couple things with a marker on this chainsaw sharpener just to make it easier to see as we're sharpening. So there's an arrow right here. I'm going to take a black marker and I'm just going to color it in with the marker. And there's also an arrow on the other side. And there's also some red marks right here, 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 and here. And this is these are important because this is the orientation that you wanna have the sharpener when you're filing. So I'm gonna take just a red marker and just highlight those. And this is just to get you a better visual of what's happening when you're sharpening. Lastly, I wanna show you how to insert the files. This is super easy. They are in the directions, but I'll show you real quick as well. There's two round files. They just pull out like that, and there's a square file as well. And um, everything has a certain orientation. So as the file sits like this with the door opening over here, your square file has this kind of angled area to it that goes in down. And then you have two round files. Uh, this point is on this side on the top one, push all the way in. And then the other file, the point is on the opening side. Just push these in and then this will shut and hold the files tight. I also want you to make sure and you verify you have the right chainsaw sharpener for the correct model you're on. And you could tell by that on the bar right here, it's gonna tell you all the information for the chain. This is a 3 8 and I'm using a 3 8 chainsaw sharpener. All right, after we verify that the chain is level with the ground, we can take our brake off, make sure you have gloves on. You don't wanna cut yourself. Make sure the chains run smoothly. And now I took a red marker and I marked the first tooth that I'm gonna be working on. So now we're ready to sharpen. So we can take our sharpener right here and there's a certain orientation that has to be accomplished. So first things first, we have to make sure that the sharpener is level with the ground as well. So everything's level. Now we gotta make sure that we're in the correct orientation. So these red marks right here and the gray right here, these have to be parallel with the chain as you're moving in the direction of the arrow. Next thing that's really important is this guide right here, this metal guide with the two red marks on it, and this guide right here with the two metal uh, red marks on it. Make sure these are sitting on the tooth you're sharpening and the one in front of it. That is the guide to hold it into place. And then all you got to do is just take some firm pressure and give it one or two strokes in the direction of the arrow. So we'll go one two and that should really be it to sharpen your chainsaw blade you can do three if you want to you just don't want to take off too much and as you can tell it also files down the rake as well so now we'll just move the chainsaw forward and we'll do the next one keeping that orientation the same each time So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section and then I'll bring it around and we'll do the other set of teeth. Now I'm gonna sharpen my last tooth in the direction of my first mark right here. Now I can do the other set of teeth that are in the opposite direction. So all you have to do is flip it like this. Get your line set up right, but as you see, on the tooth that I have to do now, 
I'm not on the guides. The guides are not on the tooth that's in front of it or the one I'm gonna sharpen. So I need to rotate my sharpener this direction to get my guides to sit on the tooth I'm gonna sharpen and the one in front of it like this. And now my arrow is pointed in this direction. So I'm gonna just move over to this direction right here, the other side, because I like to bring it towards me. And now I can sharpen and move it forward. So I just need to make sure I know that I am um, two in front of my red mark. So I know when I come back, I can stop. And I'll finish the rest of these. So that's the video, really easy to sharpen your chain. It only takes about three to four minutes. The most important part about it is making sure that you have everything level to the ground surface and that your guides are sitting on the teeth when you're doing your sharpening because that's the only way it will work. Other than that, if you do want to get one of these sharpeners, um, get them from a service center. They're around $40. If you get them online at Amazon or eBay, you could spend possibly $80 to $100, which is ridiculous. So make sure you get it through those guys. Also, they do sell replacement files. Each certain sharpener has a set of files you need to use for it. For the 3 8s, it's a 1364. So just make sure you use the right file for the sharpener that you have. Other than that, please like the video if it helped you in any way. Comment down below any questions. And if you can, subscribe. It goes a long way and helps me out. Until next time, thanks a lot and take it easy.